So the Ryzen 7 processors have finally hit market. Now the question really is, who should actually buy the things? So first off, Ryzen is a bit of a strange duck when you compare it to its Intel counterparts. On the lower end, Intel uses some processors that are great for gaming, like the i5s and the i7s that have very high clock speeds, but they don't always do so great in very multi-threaded workloads like productivity or things that a workstation would normally be working on, things like photo and video editing, video rendering, that sort of thing. On the other hand, x99 does some of those things very well, and they do them with lots of cores, six cores, 12 threads, eight cores, 16 threads, 10 cores, 20 threads, that sort of thing. However, these parts are not cheap. They are in fact extremely expensive on the Intel side. And the X99 motherboards are very expensive as well, which just adds to the cost of getting yourself onto the X99 platform from Intel. Now AMD has sort of identified the middle ground as a market into itself, and they've sort of filled it with Ryzen 7 chips. So the Ryzen 7 chips are geared towards what I would call the prosumer market. The people that make content online, but not necessarily always professionally, are extremely well suited for AMD's platform because of the cost being as cheap as it is and you can stream and game from a single platform. In addition, professionals that work for companies that are on a little bit more of a tight budget, they can't necessarily afford the top end of Intel's platforms, will find a great home with the Ryzen 7 processors, giving you eight cores and 16 threads for as low as $329. So going back to the original question of who should buy Ryzen 7 chips? First off, if you are a pure gamer, that is all you really anticipate doing with your gaming PC, Ryzen 7 is not for you, and here's why. First off, comparable parts like the i7-7700K that will go head to head with the Ryzen 7 1700 will give you better gaming performance, and the benchmarks that I've seen in reviews aren't even that close. The 7700K will outperform Ryzen 7 chips in gaming benchmarks virtually across the board, and it's a very repeatable thing. Now, some will point to the fact that in 4K benchmarks, often the Ryzen 7 chips fare much closer to the i7-7700K, and that's largely because the 4K games are being limited not by the CPU, but by the GPU. So we're not seeing the CPU bottleneck that, that the Ryzen 7 is slower on. We're seeing the GPU bottleneck far before the i7 or the Ryzen 7 chips. If, on the other hand, you are a gamer that also likes to stream or make YouTube videos like myself in your spare time, Ryzen 7 may be a great option for you. That's because, as a streamer, you can game and stream at the same time using the same computer because you have all those extra cores and extra threads to work with that the i7-7700K doesn't offer. Now, it is possible to stream and game with a 7700K or possibly even a 7600K on the same machine. Just know that the quality won't be quite as good. Even if you're using Intel's QuickSync, which leverages the integrated graphics on the processor to encode the videos for you as opposed to using the CPU itself to do that, you still won't get as good of quality as if you were just using the CPU like you can do with Ryzen chips without sacrificing any of the gaming performance there. If, however, you're a productivity professional, then you probably want to go ahead and stick with Intel. The reason for that is Intel offers more features than the Ryzen 7 chips do, albeit at a greatly inflated price. Things like Thunderbolt are not available to the Ryzen chips, so if Thunderbolt's something that you are very integrated with and sort of in that ecosystem, then the AMD platform just simply isn't for you whatsoever. Or if you're a person that uses a lot of PCI lanes to power things like multiple NVMe drives, um, lots of graphic cards, that sort of thing, lots of expansion cards. Again, Ryzen's really not for you. You're really better suited for the more expensive X99 chipset. So in review, if you are purely a gamer, go Intel. If you are a gamer that streams and also creates content, or a professional that doesn't need a lot of the extra frills that X99 offers, like Thunderbolt and extra PCI lanes, then go AMD. If you're a professional that requires Thunderbolt and is integrated with a ton of expansion cards and that sort of thing in your systems, go Intel. If, however, you're a fan of Team Red and you like competition in the marketplace and you really just want to throw caution to the wind as a gamer and buy an R7-1700 anyways, by all means do that. 
I'm not saying that Ryzen can't game well. In fact, it games pretty well. In fact, Ryzen chips will game just fine. Just understand that they will not get as high of FPS as you would if you were running an Intel part with a higher clock speed. That being said, there is still hope for the Ryzen processors as we move into quarter two when the R5 parts come out. Those parts will be six core parts, 12 threads, and four core eight thread parts. Now the way that those Ryzen parts may be able to compete with the i7-7600K and the 7700K is simply by getting higher clock speeds out of those Ryzen cores. If that turns out to be possible with those parts, then maybe those Ryzen parts would be better suited for gamers and could help disrupt the gaming marketplace a little bit more. As always, if you like this content and you want to help out the channel, share, like, subscribe, all those things. Comment down below with your thoughts on the matter as to whether you're gonna get Ryzen, if you are, what parts are you gonna get, what motherboard are you gonna get, heck, even tell me what RAM you're gonna get. Tell me if you're getting the G-Skill Trident Z like I have sitting over on the table over there. You can also follow me on social media, at Hoosier Hardware on both Instagram and on Twitter. And as always, I'm gonna let YouTube queue up some sort of card over here for a video, probably Ryzen related because that's basically what I've been doing lately. And I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware. I will see you guys in the next video.